Hi, my name is Pastor Shekerwa. Did you know that Jesus is coming again? One day when he was with his disciples, the disciples were thinking that they are showing him a wonder. These guys had grown up in Galilee. They did not understand much about the temple. When they came to the temple, it was such a beautiful place and they wanted Christ to see this. But lo and behold, Christ then tells them that this thing is going to be destroyed. There won't be any brick left on the other. And they were a bit discouraged. And then they wanted to know, when are these things going to be? Jesus didn't answer that question. But they said, they asked it, what is going to be the sign? He starts by a warning. Which warning I want to give you? And he says on chapter 24 of the book of Matthew and verse 4, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. There are so many deceivers out there. There are so many deceivers out there. Verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Did you know? If we have one deceiver in the camp, you will kill more people than a thousand soldiers outside the camp. Did you know? Having a traitor among ourselves is so dangerous that he can destroy us from within. Now, when Christ is talking to his people, he is talking to a Christian. Let me emphasize that. When it comes to the second coming of the Lord and people not being deceived, this is the message that comes to the Christian law. Buddhism, they don't believe in the coming of the Christ. They don't believe in Christ. Hinduism, they don't. Islam, they don't. You and me, this warning comes to us direct because we are the ones who believe in Christ. And he says, they will come in my name saying, I'm the Christ. May I help you to understand there are special messages that are meant for Christians and Christians only. There are special messages that are meant for you and for me. This, when it comes to deceiving, it's us we are going to be deceived. And the problem that we have now, the people who are deceiving us are people who are within. Some of them have been powerful pastors, good leaders. We have turned into error. And they are turning what they used to teach us into something else. It's important that watch out he starts with, take heed, watch out, take note, be careful. Why? Because they are deceivers who have turned the sour. We used to work with them. They used to be my, our friends. We used to do things together. But now they've turned the sour. They want to call themselves the Christ. They want to call themselves whoever. They want even to call themselves deliverers and saviors. There is no other savior except Christ. And he says, as he is going to come, you may find quite a good number, many, being deceived. But I want to thank God because you will not be deceived. You feed from the word. Read the word. Let the Holy Spirit interpret it unto you. Don't go all over the show. Pray about it. Talk to the Lord about it. Drink from the fresh waters of the word. From there, you won't go wrong. It doesn't matter who comes. You will not be shaken. You will be well rooted, deeply rooted in the word. Because you are deeply rooted in the word, nothing will shake you. You will be like a tree in the wilderness, which is bent by the winds, and it comes back. It's bent by the winds, it comes back. Doesn't matter what happens, when you drink from the fresh waters of the word of God, you'll be firm, firmly rooted, and nothing will change you. May God bless you.